Good morning, Prospect Panthers. Welcome to another day of remote learning. Today is Wednesday, May 27th. Boys and girls, we've got this. We only have a few more days left until summer break. You all are doing such an amazing job. I am so, so proud of you. I hope you have a wonderful Wednesday of learning. Hi, Prospect Panthers. <coughs> Today I am going to say the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, for liberty and justice for all. All right, good morning. I am here with our second retiree, Peg Malsack. Hi, Peg. Hello. How are you? I'm great. Good, thank you so much for doing this. We as staff and students and parents definitely wanna take this time to celebrate all of our special retirees. So I thought it would be just fun to put you on the morning announcements and showcase you there. So we just wanna learn a little bit bit about you before you leave us. How long have you been at Prospect and what grades have you taught there? I have only taught fourth grade at Prospect and I've been there for 27 years. 19 of them have been teaching fourth grade. Wow, <laughs> that's awesome. Well, as me coming in as a new principal, I always heard from everybody about the fourth grade team. So you and Mrs. Awick, and then you also had another partner, but the two of you were like the dream team and you guys worked so well together. And I know the two of you have created a special friendship and a special working bond. So um, it's kind of nice that you both are going out the same year because that probably would have been difficult to um, work with some, not work with someone else, but you just have had such a close connection with each other has been mm -hmm. amazing. I know the parents and uh, students and staff have loved you guys and they are so gonna miss you guys. So tell us what retirement looks like and what you'll be doing as you go into retirement. Uh, retirement will be a little less structured, which will be kind of good. Get to actually do some fun things. I love to garden, flower gardens. I've got started doing some work on that. So spending time out in my gardens will be wonderful and spending time just sitting and reading a book. I have a three-year-old granddaughter and I'm really looking forward to spending a lot more time with her. So that will be, that'll be the highlight um, is spending more time with her and, you know, family and friends, uh, spending more time at the studio dancing. Uh, I like uh, standard dance, I'm, I'm standard dancing. So it's waltz, tango, spot, strut, venus, waltz, and quick step. Um, and then looking forward to competing more right now. I can only do that about once, one comp a year uh, right. in the summertime. So I'm looking forward to doing more of more competitions. So that'll be fun. Where are your competitions at? Are they in the area or do you travel for those? The travel a bit. There's some that I've done that are here in the Chicagoland area. The one that I typically do every year is up in Wisconsin. So it's Milwaukee, so Wisconsin State. Um, I've done one down in Kansas City, Heart of America. Uh, eventually the studio wants to do one that's in Florida, which is like the biggest one in the country. Uh, we were trying to do that maybe this September, but now with everything, we're probably going to push that off for another year. So uh, do travel uh, for them, but try and stay local if I can. Good. How did you get into dancing? And did you get into dancing when you were a kid or was this something that you started doing as an adult? No, this is as an adult. I've been dancing now for seven years 
And it was just something that I've always loved to watch. And I just thought it would kind of be fun to try it. So I did a, a group on of two lessons and started that and then really liked it. And, you know, it's like, okay, well, I, I can do this. And so I ended up buying, you know, a package of, you know, several lessons, like 10 lessons and did that. And I did not expect to be hooked this much, dancing this much, <laughs> competing ever or performing like, you know, a routine for a, a, you know, a holiday performance or something like that. I never thought I would ever be doing any of those things, but I love it. It is, it's so much fun. It's good physically, it's good mentally, uh, socially. It's just, it's a great activity. I highly recommend it to anybody. Will we uh, ever see you on maybe Dancing with the Stars? You know, you're a prospect star, so <laughs> maybe you could be on the Dancing with the Stars. Uh, probably not. I hope not. That would be a little <laughs> bit overwhelming. <laughs> yeah, that I do too. I love to watch that. And I'm always jealous of just how they can do all the different dances and move their body. And that's something I would love, love to take up as well. So uh, in thinking about your career, do you have any favorite memories? I'm sure there's many, but any memories that you could share with us? Uh, I would say that it's not one particular memory, but it's the process of fourth grade. So when the students come in the first day of school and they're scared and they're nervous and they're excited at the same time and they've heard stories about fourth grade and that, you know, it's really hard, but yet it's really fun watching that process because the students are now, when they come into fourth grade, they're entering the intermediate grades. And so there's a jump in the standards that need to be covered, the expectation, their responsibility and looking at them by the end of the school year, how mature they have become, the leaders they've become, the kindness that they've shown throughout the year and all the lessons that we've taught them, they've taken it to heart and they know that what they put into it is what they're going to get out of it. Mm -hmm. And hard work does pay off. Yeah. Um, just watching that process throughout the year is just so rewarding and it's so much fun at the end of the year to talk to the students, remember the first day of school and where you were and how you felt and look at where you've come now. And they just, the looks on their faces and the joy that they have is just so wonderful to see and so rewarding. Oh, that's awesome. Well, we want to just honor you and thank you for everything that you have done. We will miss you so very much. I told this to Kelly Awick as well. You know, I'm always looking for like lunch supervisors or substitutes. <laughs> I think Kelly and like you um, will be more excited to go spend time with your grandkids. Is your granddaughter, is she around here or is she? Yeah, they're in Warrenville. So it's, oh. not, it's not that far. So awesome. 20 minutes maybe and uh, they're close, which is good. So you'll have lots of play dates with her and stuff. Mm -hmm. So that's awesome. Mm -hmm. Well, even if you don't come back to be in the lunchroom or sub, we hope that you come back just often to visit and say hello to the kids, um, especially next year. I know they will all be dying to see you guys since we have had to do a virtual goodbye this year. So they would definitely probably love to see you next year and say a real goodbye and wish you the best of luck into retirement. I would love to do that. And I wish all my students and all the students from Prospect and their families a wonderful summer, a safe summer. Keep reading, keep writing, keep practicing math, and just keep being the wonderful people you are. Yeah. Awesome. We'll miss everybody. Yeah. Well, thank you so much. The best You're of luck to you in your retirement, and we wish you the best. You're welcome. Thank you.